What's up, Blue Chips? We had two trades today on BBBY and CLVS. Well, let's get to it. All right, so this is one of the ones that we were talking about looking for that extension. Then we're going to look for about half the move back up there. There it is. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. Kind of missed that move there. That's kind of my fault. All right, let's try this one out. Here we go up here with CLVS, getting a little bit of a push down. Really big push down. All right, we'll hit an add there. So we're still kind of looking for that same area for the most part here for now. Getting that move down here. There we go. All right, we grab an ad there. So that puts our average at 1371. Let's do our little. Thirteen fifty-eight. Unless we're gonna go through it here. So thirteen cents. So thirteen. 71 plus 13 is 84. Put our new order out there. RGLS, a little bit of a lower float. A lot of low floats kind of in the mix today. PVH, that's a, that's a pretty hefty dip but I don't like the volume there. So we're definitely gonna stay away from that. TUFN, uh, it's not really what we're looking for. It's kind of sideways. So on these long plays, we're not, you know, we're obviously not catering away from the, uh, we're not catering away from SSR. So and there we go. We got our profit target there on CLVS uh, for a nice, pretty much half quota uh, trade there, 22 bucks. Oh, we would have hit our old order. Let's see if we can get that little bit of a pop. We got to 88. One penny. Let's see if we can get that little bit of a push. 87. I typically wouldn't sit here and watch as you saw CLVS went off without us even watching it. But there's not really much else to look at right this second. We're not in any other trades. Part of me kind of wants to take it because that's where our old order was. And we got it anyway. There we go. It kind of felt like it was fighting. So another decent trade there, 1440. So two winners thus far. I'm really enjoying... Uh, the way that this long strategy is kind of playing out. I like it. We're in a bullish market. So there we go. All right, traders. So that was my trades on BBBY and CLVS. As you could tell, possibly if you didn't, they were paper trades. This is something new that I'm trying. Uh, one, just going long in general. And two, uh, attempting to, uh, how do I put it? Um, give myself a set risk every trade. So that's the idea behind this. So by starting with smaller share size, I can give myself a little bit more room because what I was starting to notice in a lot of my charts is I was getting faked out. And what do I mean by faked out? So come down, set a low, come back up a little bit and then come back down and set a new low. Although this time it only goes to a new low by like four or five cents and then ends up retracing and making this move. Well, my strategy, my rules stated that once that line was broken, the low of day or high of day, depending on which way I was playing it, I would get out of the trade, right? That was the rule. 
And I started to realize that that rule was getting me out of a lot of trades for a, a, a decent loss. And in reality, it was ended up just being a fake out. And it happened a lot. So testing a new theory here, and that's why we started on paper. And we also were going long. So two new things at once. I was not going to just jump in with my real money. Um, but as you can see, it worked twice today. So BBBY, as you can see, we got in on the extension to the downside, got one ad, and we came back up, tested that VWAP area, and we took our position. CLVS, kind of the same thing. Uh, and this is actually one of those cases. Let's let's zoom in a little bit here. So we took an entry. It started to go up. We didn't quite get what we wanted, as you saw in the live trade. And then it broke that low of day. So typically, I would have exited the trade there. But instead, by taking smaller share size, giving ourselves some wiggle room, knowing that we had a max risk on this trade um, is in dollar amounts, that we gave ourselves room. So by doing that, we allowed for this move to come back up, got a little pop through VWAP, and we were good to go. So that's the two trades today, and that's all I have for you. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. Always appreciate the support. You guys know that. And if you're new here, don't forget that we, well, I guess you can't forget if you don't know, but Friday nights, we have Friday night live stream. It's your last little chance, last little dose of the stock market, uh, spending some time with me in the community uh, that shows up, uh, just kind of answering some questions. And tonight we're doing, or not tonight, tomorrow night, we're doing the thousand subscriber giveaway. So that will be a lot of fun. And if you haven't signed up for that, go to the channel. It's right one of the top videos. You'll see it. We're giving away two weeks of the Team ISW package. It includes all of the scanners that I use on a daily basis, as well as the two chat rooms where you'll get to pick apart the brains of Team ISW for two weeks. It's a very invaluable thing. So go make sure you sign up for that. And the other thing we're giving away are three pro accounts for TraderSync for an entire year. So each person that wins that, they get the, an account for an entire year. It's a $360 value per person. So some big things there for the thousand sub giveaway. I wanted to make sure we went a little bit big uh, just as a way to give back and say thank you to you guys and as my supporters. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Peace.